these are the ones that if you took away all my makeup, I'll be like, hold on, give me that back. I need to have it. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today, I am doing another favorites video. I'm trying to get these in for you guys. This is going to be my favorite blushes, bronzers, and highlighters for 2020. Most of these I've had for a while, some before 2020, others I've picked up this year. But look, you know, if you know, you know, when you fall in love with something or you have a collection and you use something and you can tell it's different and you're going to love it, sometimes it happens love at first sight. So I can't wait to show you guys what made it in my top picks. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, I'd like to invite you to join the family. So click that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. I upload videos twice a week and they are mostly videos about beauty with some fitness sprinkled in. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see my top blushes, bronzers, and contours for the year of 2020, then stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay, I was trying to decide if I was going to swatch all this stuff, but y'all, it's going to be too long. We're not doing it. I'm going to start off with bronzers. My first bronzer, absolutely love. It's in my travel bag, so you know it's good. Is my Hoola Toasted Bronzer by Benefit. This is actually a second one that I have, but this is what it looks like. Shade is very warm, and this is deep. Like, this works as a contour and a bronzer, and it comes with this little brush here, which actually works pretty well. Love this bronzer. You haven't seen it in a lot of videos because I'm trying to use a bunch of different stuff, give you guys different options, but this one is one of my top three because I have five, top three. Next one is this Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. This one is more of a sculpting powder than it is a bronzer because it's still a little warm, but it's not like too warm on the red side and it is deep enough to contour. I did just pick this one up this year but I fell in love with it the first time I used it. And I do have to use a light hand because this comes off a lot darker than I thought it would. So yeah, fell in love with it the first time I used it. And pretty much every high-end video, I've been using this one. The next one I have, this is the only cream kind of product that I have. This is the Uoma Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick. I have Honey Honey and I also have Brown Sugar. Brown sugar is super dark. You saw that in a recent haul video. I have not used it yet. I just recently used this one again, and I thought it was gonna be too light for me, but it works well. One side is a bronzer, which also works as a light contour for me. And then the other shade is a highlighter. The highlighter is okay. I, it's not bad. It's just, it's all right. It's not one of my favorites, but I do use it. The next three that I have are drugstore. The first one, y'all, I use this all the time. This is in my everyday makeup drawer. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. This is in the shade Phenom. I use this every time I do my makeup off camera. So it sits in the top drawer in my bathroom. Every time I need to bronze, I use this. Every time I'm just doing a quick makeup look and I want to throw something in my crease to darken it up, I use this. This is literally life. There's actually a little dent in it. You probably can't even see that. But as much stuff as I have for me to make a dent in something, you know it's good. This next one I've had for a while and I just recently picked up one this year. I have another one that I've had before this year. But I picked up this one because I wanted to make sure that it was still in store for you guys and that it still worked as well. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze It, and this is in the shade 03 Deep. I showed you guys this in my drugstore video, I believe. This one, I like the shade of it because it's a little cool and I can build it up to contour, but I can also just use it as a bronzer. And there's only three shades. This is the darkest shade, but this one works really well and applies really smooth. It does have an overspray of a gold glitter in it. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but that does not show on your face. So 
you don't have to worry about that. And then the last bronzer, I finally got my hands on this one. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade PF11001. And this is the Sculpting Miru Miru Butter Bronzer. I heard a lot of people talking about the butter bronzers and at first all the other shades that they had when they first came out didn't have our shades. And then they came out with some deeper ones. This is the deepest one and luckily it is deep enough for me. Um, I wouldn't say it was necessarily a contour, but I love how it looks as a bronzer. This one also sits in my bathroom in my top drawer. So I will use this one only on my face. I don't use it on my eyes because it's not as pigmented as this one. So I'll use this one to build up my crease. This one is more just for my face. Now we're gonna move into blushes. Okay guys, look, we know I love blush. It is my jam. And I try to pare these down, but I have, <laughs> I have quite a few. And honestly, I think it's more because of colors than it is necessarily the brand. So number one, hands down in my top three, this Patrick Ta for Face Double Take Cream and Powder Blush. This is in the shade Oh She's Different. Y'all know I love this. I only have one. I didn't pick up any other shades because this is the only one I wanted. And I did get it for 20% off. But honestly, if I ran out and really wanted it, I would pay full price for this. That's how good it is. And you know that's saying a lot. So I love this blush and I'm glad I picked it up. The next one is my Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush. You guys know you've seen this in several videos. This is one of my favorite blushes. This is in Mauve Sunrise. It's a cream to powder formula, so it blends into the skin really well. You can build it up or just do a light flush of color. It has a nice little sheen. And I just feel like it makes everything look so plumped and glowy and just, it's gorgeous. So. This is also in the top of the top. The next one, you guys know when I showed you this in my haul that I was literally up at midnight trying to order these because I've missed them on sale for the past couple years. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Blush Duo. This is in the shade Spice Cinnamon. We're noticing a color theme here. I have, I have a look that I like. I love, looks like, you know, colors like this on my face. This one, I'm not, this highlighter is okay, but it's more like a blush topper than it is an actual blush. But the blush color itself, absolutely love. These two paired together are gorgeous, or you can wear them by themselves. I would not just put this on my cheeks by itself. But like I said, you can use it as a topper. Love this, love it even more because I got it on sale. This next one, I don't think I've shown a lot on my channel, but it's in my top drawer in my bathroom. This is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. This is in the shade Dolly. This is the only one that I have, and I like this one because it's a cool tone blush. So when I'm doing cool tone looks, this one goes perfect. This lasts so long on my skin, and it also has a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but you can tell this is well loved. I use this when I'm doing just more of like a natural look as well, not necessarily cool tone. So if I'm doing my quick little foundation, concealer, bronze, a little bit of blush and bronzer in my crease, I'll use a shade like this on my cheeks to not make too much color, but still give me that youthful look. I couldn't do a video without mentioning this e.l.f. primer infused blush. This is in the shade Always Spicy. Y'all know how excited I was when I found this. I do have Always Rosy, I believe is the other shade. It's a lot pinker, it's a lot cooler. It's kind of similar to this one. And then they came out with this one and I was like, y'all heard me. Love this color, love this blush. It lasts long and I think it's a good alternative if you want a cheaper version of the Buxom Primer Infused Blush, you can check out the e.l.f. I also cannot do a blush video and not talk about Milani blushes. I just recently this summer picked up their new Coco Felicita blush. This one is more of a sheen than it is like the shimmer blushes that they had, the baked blushes. I love this blush. It goes on so smooth. Again, nice wash of color that can be built up. 
it's the color for me. I love it. Any blush that I find in this color, if it's not chalky, I'm probably gonna love it. So I think that's why I have so many blushes, but Milani blushes are amazing. Probably the best in the drugstore. So if you're looking for a blush and you want something that's inexpensive, this is a good drugstore option. This next blush, I started not to add it, but then I was like, Barbara, every time you want to do just a natural bronzed glowy look, you always reach for this. So I have to include it. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in Songbird. This one also has a dent in it. This is more of like a peachy kind of orange. I do tend to build this up a little bit more because it's a mineral blush. So when I put it on my finger, you can't really see. It's just like barely there, a nice little sheen. But if I'm doing a no makeup makeup look and I just want something to give myself a light, light wash of color, barely looks like anything there, this is what I have on my cheeks. I love the formula of this. And I do have a backup of this. So I guess, yes, it needed to be in my favorites. I don't think I have any other colors. I may have to check, but I know Songbird is my favorite. All right, and last, we are gonna move into highlighters. Y'all already know. This, I'm saying this one first because it's blush and highlighter. My Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. This is in the shade 02 Citrus. Y'all know how much I love this. I have not picked up another one yet. It is still on sale at Sephora. This is normally $89. It is on sale for $44 right now. And yes, I'm still thinking about it. I am not even close to hitting pan, but it is very rare that you get a face palette and you can use and love every single shade in it. And that is what this does for me, every single shade. This is a cream blush. This is a powder blush. This is a cream highlighter. Is this a cream? No, these are all powders but they're so smooth and they blend and the pigment and the shine it's just uh, this is amazing this is absolutely amazing and if I honestly minus my Patrick Ta I if I had to get rid of everything and only have one I would not give this up I, I honestly think this would be it so that is telling you that's how much I love it couldn't go a video without talking about Pat McGrath, especially highlighters. I didn't know how good they were. And then I picked up her Sublime Highlighting Trio during her sale and I fell in love. I fell in love because one, these have a shift to the colors. I hope you can see that on camera. One's a little gold, the other's a little pink. This one has a little bit of a pinky shift to it. Yeah, you can see that. Then this one has a little bit more of a gold shift to it. And then this is just a straight up gold, bronze, beautiful highlight. Very smooth, very pigmented. This not what I have on my face right now, but when you apply it, glowing from the gods. So absolutely beautiful. And it's Pat McGrath, duh. The rest of these highlighters are actually drugstore. So I have four, these will go pretty fast. The first is my Flower Beauty Highlighting. This is the highlighting palette. It says Shimmer and Strobe. I love this highlighting palette because again, three shades, you have options. I wear mostly this one. This one you can use more as like a blush topper, but they're all like super pigmented. So you have to go in with a light hand. And then this one is more of like a, icy kind of pinky champagne gold. So I don't use this one as much because it's like super light. If I want extreme highlight, I'll use this one and then top it with this one. But I rarely use this one by itself because it is light and I don't want it to look like a strip of ice on my face, you know? So good drugstore option and you get three so you can mix it up. The next one, I found this this summer and I fell in love with it the first time I used it. This is the Miru Miru Butter Highlighter in Champagne from Physicians Formula. This has a very interesting texture because it feels like the ColourPop highlighters and blushes and the eyeshadows. It's kind of like a cream, but even just like touching it like that, there's already some on my finger. The highlight from this, I know I said I wasn't swatching, but y'all, this is so smooth. And it just looks like that lit, lit from within glow. It's not 
chunky. It's not glittery. Like, it looks like it in the pan. And I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know about this. But I barely dipped my brush in it and immediately just sculpted, glowing. It's not this. <laughs> but just this is how I like my highlighters to look. So that's why I'm doing that because that's how this one looks. And it is gold. Absolutely love it. It kind of reminds me of Gilded Honey a little bit if you tried that one before. This is still expensive because it's Physician's Formula. But it's a drugstore option and they always have coupons. So check it out if you can find it. This is the only loose highlighter that made the cut. I like them, but as heavy handed as I am, y'all already know I have to be careful. This is the Juvia's Place loose highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. This is so pigmented and so beautiful. It is gold. Like, look at that reflection. So when I use this, I dip in this cap. I don't even try to dip in here because I would make a mess. But this is absolutely beautiful. And if you shop at Ulta, there's always a sale or that 350 coupon, 350 off of 15. So you can get this on sale, but this is a beautiful highlighter. If you're new to highlighter, loose highlighters are very messy. So be careful or pick one of the powder forms that I suggested earlier. This last one, I've had this for a while and I decided to just kind of shop my stash and try it and it blew me away. Like I was like, why did you stop using this? This is the Milani Day Glow Strobe Light. It says that it is a strobe light, boo. This is a highlighter. This is so pigmented, so smooth. It doesn't look like much on your finger and that's why it's more of a strobe. So you can just kind of go in lightly with it. It's just a beautiful glow. But when you build this up, it looks absolutely amazing. I can even shear that down and it just looks like my skin has a light flashing from underneath. That's how you want a highlighter to look if you're wearing it for every day. I tend to go a little extra and do more than that. But this one can be built up and the way it builds up on the skin doesn't emphasize texture, doesn't just sit on top of the skin, it melts in and you look like you're glowing. That is it guys. I didn't want this video to be too long. I know I have a lot of favorites, but I have a lot of makeup. And these are the ones that if you took away all my makeup, I'll be like, hold on, give me that back. I need to have it. These are my favorites for 2020 out of my blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Comment below and let me know what some of yours are. If I don't have them, you'll give me a reason to check them out, another reason to go shopping like I need it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new, I hope you're enjoying the content. Hit that subscribe button, join the family. I'm not done with my favorites, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.